After spending time with family, Dana and I decided we needed some alone time. And what better place to have it but at the most famous, most fabulous island in the Philippines, Boracay. Hey guys, we just made it to Boracay, but first, let me show you how we got here. Let's go! The flight there was a bit rough, to be honest. We didn't really research the best time to go. We actually only decided two days before we took off. It was just another YOLO trip for the two of us. So of course it was gloomy, rainy, and had thunderstorms most nights. And don't even get me started about it being algae season. Since the airport is not on the island of Barakai, we needed to set up transportation. So we got a guide to take us from the airport to our hotel. It cost us 900 pesos or $18 per person one way for a regular boat. And that seems like a lot, but Barakai is known to be spendy. There's also an option for a private boat for 1,500 pesos or $30 per person each way. And since Dana and I are always trying to roll on a budget, we went with the first option. All right, guys, this is our room here in Barakai. We got a really sweet deal for this nice clean room, and we are at Villa Camella Boutique Hotel. Let's go check out the bathroom. Got a screaming deal on this place. It's only about $42 a night, which is pretty impressive. We don't have a sea view or anything, but that's quite all right. We got a nice big old shower, which is always a big bonus. It's hard to get the sea view. It is hard to get the sea view. Since we booked last minute. Yeah, we did book last minute, as Dana was saying. But yeah, it's got everything you need. Coffee set up, mini bar. Of course, it's gonna cost more to drink out of here, but that just might happen once or twice. Yeah, big old TV, nice comfy looking bed, spacious room, a bunch of space for our bags. And yeah, we'll show you the outside tomorrow when it's bright out. breakfast for today. Got a pancake. French toast. I mean, French toast. So we are now walking down the beach here in Barakai. We are actually staying down in station three. It's a pretty quiet down there, chill atmosphere. It's kind of more Dana and my style. But we're gonna head on down. We start out at station three, and then it's station two, and then station one. Should be about two and a half mile walk. 
but uh, it's nice. There's kind of a shaded path on one side, and if we want to go dip our toes, we totally can. We're excited to check it out, so come along with us. All right, let's go. Restaurants are open, that's a good sign. It's really hot. All right, guys, we got some sizzling seasick. Did he get a salad? And here's our view. Good morning, guys. So today is our second day here in Barakai. What are we doing, JD? We're gonna go have breakfast. <laughs> yeah, we woke up late again. Morning. So we're at Villa Camilla here at Station 3. And there's the view, the front of the restaurant. They actually have breakfast and really good food here and really good drinks. What are you getting? I don't know yet. Everything here has been good so far. So. I had the longanisa last night or yesterday. back to the room after breakfast and we had asked when we got down there if they could uh, spruce up our room for us which they were kind enough to do and check out who they left for us yeah is that your sunglasses those are my sunglasses <laughs> that's so funny i love it <laughs> <laughs> very cool this place the service has been fantastic everybody who works here is so kind all right guys so we made it to station two and this is how it's looking. There's still seaweed in the water today. What do you think, JD? You like it? Yeah, it's so beautiful. I mean, sure, I don't really like the seaweed, but there's some open spots without much. So we'll try and find one of those to go for a quick swim. All right. But look how pretty those baby um, coconuts are. Just before the pandemic, they did a huge rehab of Barakai basically cleaning up the beach and enforcing strict environmental laws that need to be followed by all business establishments. And it sure shows. It was definitely calmer than the idea we had from all the old stories of it being a party island. But I kind of party like a 70-year-old these days anyways, so it was fine with me. Everything's open. Mm -hmm. How was the swim? It was good. I mean, it's really refreshing. The sand's super soft way out there, uh, or the whole way out there, really. Hey everybody, we are heading down. I think we're almost to station one now. And I've got to say the, uh, all the seaweed is clearing up quite a bit down here. Um, there's a little bit still, you can see it along the way, but like uh, further back towards station uh, two and three, there's quite a bit more seaweed. So if we go out a little ways, as you can see, it starts to get a lot clearer. So I might go dip in again. I've gone in a couple times, but um, yeah, we're headed to station one. Hopefully it's uh, even nicer that away. But this beach is just so beautiful and the sand is so soft and white. I'll show you here in a sec. Here you go. You can see how nice and white and clear the soft sand is. I got a spicy mamacitas to uh, start out, and it's uh, very, very spicy. Um, I don't know if I can handle it right now. I think the ice needs to melt a bit, so we decided to order a uh, 
a mojito instead to kind of chill it out. And then uh, it's now happy hour, so you buy one, you get one free. So uh, I'm about to get uh, lit. <laughs> we have to walk far too. <laughs> All right, chug Cheers. it. Done. She's Strong so food. happy right now. I mean, who would be sad about having three drinks? The chill, relaxing vibe was what we were looking for, so we opted to stay in Station 3 instead of 1 or 2 because it's known to be a bit more quiet and calm. I'm so glad we did too because we found the lovely and quaint Villa Camella. The rooms were spacious and plush. The restaurant served such delicious food we almost ate there every meal. And did I mention it was right on the beach? We literally stepped right out of the restaurant onto their world-famous white sand beach. Couldn't ask for more. Most days, we went for a nice long sweaty walk on the beach after a delicious breakfast. It's a perfect 4 kilometer or 2.5 miles, just right to get that heart rate up. We could barely keep our eyes off the water. Even with the algae, it was still one of the most gorgeous places we've ever seen. It is literally heaven on earth, and we're not surprised why it's so popular, not just in the Philippines, but the whole world. And the sunset, one in a million, every night. So JD's flexing on everybody today. Two, two pairs of Yep, not one, two. She has two folks and she wants to wear them both. Even though it wasn't the optimal time to go, we had the most perfect 10 days in Barakai, and it was just what the doctor ordered. But our videos don't end here about what we did on this beautiful island. We have more in store for you on the most famous island in the Philippines. Thank you.